one thing that I know, that wherever we're at in our life, it's a good thing if we don't have to walk alone. So, welcome to our Iowa farm, Michelle. Thank you. All, all of us with Pink Tractor know that, you through, we know you through your video blogs, we know you through your presentations, but some of us want to know the rest of the story. How in the heck did you get started in this speaking business? Well, you know, it's interesting. It's hard to believe that I've been speaking for 13 years now plus. Started back in 2001. And I really started my business, Cosmetics Corporation, because I felt deeply that the people who feed the world needed to have a stronger voice. Mm -hmm. So I was very fortunate. You know, and a lot of people don't know this, but I was not able to stand in front of a room full of people when I was a freshman in high school without bawling my eyes out. And wearing the blue and gold jacket gave me the opportunity to compete in speaking contests, and I fell in love with speaking. Yay, FFA! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's something that I knew that would always um, be a piece of my heart. I never really expected to start it so young, but I, I feel very fortunate to be able to do what I love. And, and why did you focus on advocacy? Well, it was pretty simple for me, honestly. I worked for the National FFA Foundation, managed 15 states, and had corporate relationships in, in those states from mom-and-pop shops, family farms all the way up to Fortune 100, Fortune 50 companies, and regardless of what level I was talking about, I continued to hear, people don't understand our business, people don't understand where their food comes from, and my own experience is losing a family farm and um, seeing some activist activity on the campus of Michigan State really led me to believe that we needed to be more active in telling our story, and never did I understand the levels of which the food emotionalism was going to reach today, and it concerns me about where it's going to be 10 years from now. Well, that emotionalism has turned into a wonderful passion and a blessing to all of us in agriculture. I'm so glad you came to visit us at our Iowa farm. Well, thanks, and thanks for all the great hospitality. Julie. You're welcome.